Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Tracy again here at TM Diecast Reviews. <clears throat> Today I have for you a 118 scale 2007 Mustang GT500 Shelby. This is made by uh, Shelby Collectibles. Same people who made that. that um, that uh, 60, I think it was a 66 GT40 Mark II. They did a really good job on this car. Um, a little treat here for you Mustang fans. This is uh, my brother-in-law's car. He picked it up at a antique store of all places. <clears throat> the lady says that uh, there's a guy that brings in cars all the time. I think he paid maybe $15 for it. I didn't go on the internet and check, but this car probably comes in other colors. And I'm sure you can find it on Amazon, of course eBay, and maybe even a diecast model wholesale. And a few other various sites. Really nice car. A nice looking car. This is the 2007 model. This is not the Super Snake. Um, that's what I, one of the cars that I'm looking for. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a 2010 model uh, GT500 Super Snake. <clears throat> I do have some stats here for you about the actual car. I'll go over. Uh, we'll start the review off here shortly. But I just wanted to show this to you. See what you thought of it. Um, I think it's really nice. I think they did a really good job here. So start the review off here in the front. And as you can see, the, the headlight detail is pretty good. Turn signals, you got your nice fog lights, your nice grill, which is not see throughable, but it's done very well. Very tasteful, very textured. The, the, the snake on there. Done very, very well. They did a great engine detail on this car. I'll definitely show you. The hood, the trunk, and the doors do open. Um, car does not have suspension. But the front wheels do turn. And the steering wheel does turn with the front wheels. And you can see them keep turning the front wheels. And I'll show you the inside of the... You can see the steering wheel moving. Poses well. Uh, it's really nice. You even got a uh, little movability there with your windshield wipers. <clears throat> Shelby Collectibles made this car with uh, door glass, which is polycarbonate. Um, but they're they're rolled up, so you can keep the interior in pretty good shape. Pretty clean there in the curio cabinet or whatever you want to store it. Uh, it's in very good shape. Paint's in uh, really good shape. All I did was dust it a little bit. Very good shape. Uh, tail lights. I mean, I can't help to keep saying that because of where he found it. It wasn't in a box. It was just sitting in like a, a glass cabinet with a few other models that were in very poor condition. And this one here, it just had dust on it. We brought it to my house and uh, cleaned it up, and it turned out real well. Let's see what that says there on it. Okay, Shelby GT500. That's really nice. Nice gas cap. All this stuff you see in there is how it came. I haven't put any carpet or anything like that in it because, like I said, it's not my car. It's my brother-in-law's car. SVT. Part of the SVT program. Yeah, really nice. Got the GT500 marking on there, I believe that's uh, correct. Correct font. Everything's really nice car. It's in black with uh, gold striping. Nice car. We'll go ahead and open it up for you. Get it open, I'm telling you, it seals up pretty well.
This is the part that's hard to do one handed. There we go. Buffing up both doors. So what do y'all think? I think it's really nice. There's the engine. Detail they work. They did a great job on this. See the oil fill or filler cap on it? Oh, that's shock towers. They did an excellent, excellent job on this car. Some type of oil goes in it. That's really that's really cool. Let's see if we can it actually it just says engine oil. See the camera. Right. Yeah, it won't go up so far. Engine oil. It's <laughs> really neat. And warning labels. What that cap right there says. Don't be too much light to see. Probably just nothing. Some squiggly lines or whatever. But I mean, look at that. That's you can see the engine down in there. You can also see it from the bottom of the car. I'm gonna flip it over and show it to you. Get your information off of it. They did an excellent, excellent job on this thing. That's your door glass there. It's down in here in the SVT on the door seals. Look how they did the uh, plastic in there. It's not smooth like most cars. They gave it a texture to simulate uh, carpet. Of course, it doesn't have carpet in it. If he wants me to put carpet in it, I would for him. But knowing him, it's probably going to just leave it the way it is. See if we get any kind of. Yeah. Turn the wheel straight there so you can see the snake on the center. Yeah. The trunk. Same thing. I think this will be a great addition to your collection. Looks like they even put a little bit of red. On the seatbelt latches, y'all know how I go. It was a pet peeve of mine. But it's not my car, so. The interior's in great shape. They did a uh, fantastic job of it. Very detailed. I've just made a decent purchase at Sam's Club. And uh, I'm going to get to those as soon as I can, as soon as the weather permits. Uh, the day of making of this video is a Sunday, July 22nd. And uh, we're due for rain for a whole seven days here in Virginia. So. I'm going to try to get some reviews done here. Uh, some of the cars that I've just recently made were at Sam's Club. And they're painted really nice and I want the sun to shine on them. So y'all can really see the paint quality that's in them. But uh, I don't know. I'll play it all by ear. Been raining here all day. And this is the one dry spot that I've got here. And... Uh, so it's not raining and I can be able to get this review in, hopefully. But well, we got a lot of rumbling going on around me. It's thunder. I'm going to try to get this in for y'all. Yeah, really nice. It's a really nice car. I like how you got the uh, back here. On the back. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get it in here. You got the little anchors here. For your child seats, you can latch your child seats to the back of the car, I mean, back seat. And you can see down here, you can see the seat belts laying in the back seat with the latches painted in. Very nice car.
very very nice car I think it would be a great addition to your collection the hood clothing I think you'd be really happy with it especially you Mustang guys that collect Mustangs but even guys that don't you just like real nice cars this definitely do one for you yeah, really nice check that out like how the hood it's got that see-through panel in there we can see down in it Isn't that nice a little brief information about the actual car 2007 Mustang GT 500 powered by a 5.4 liter V8 engine it's supercharged of course made 500 horsepower and 480 foot-pounds of torque Uh, that power is transferred through a six-speed manual transmission. Zero to 60 time on this car was 4.5 seconds. The car would run a quarter mile in 12.8 seconds at 113 miles per hour. And the MSRP on this car in 2007 was $43,765. So you got a lot of car for a lot of performance for about 40 grand. I thought for sure it would at least a sixty thousand dollar car, but I guess you figure forty uh, three thousand dollars was a lot more in two thousand seven than it is here in two, uh, twenty in two thousand eighteen. So top speed of this car was one hundred and fifty miles per hour, and it was limited by Ford. So if you uh, got your hands on one of these cars and you get in there and you could override the top speed limit or maybe you could push it to 170 180 mile an hour and the the weight of this vehicle was 3920 pounds yeah, good looking car so there you have it folks this is going to do it for this review the doors are not spring loaded like I said it's a 118 scale 2007 Mustang GT 500 not the Super Snake um, I think the Super Snake came out later on I think 2009 or something like that I don't know I'll find out but anyway it's made by Shelby's uh, Shelby collectibles and I think you really like it and it would be a, a wonderful addition to your collection well, that's gonna do it today Again, this is Tracy here at TNM Diecast Reviews, and uh, hope you like this uh, video. Hope you like all the other videos. If you do, hit that like button, and consider subscribing to the channel. And, and if you do, please hit that bell button so you'll be notified when the next video has been uploaded. So we'll, uh, this is going to do this review again, and uh, we're going to see y'all and talk to y'all in the next video. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.